It's no secret that Kirby in the Forgotten Land was a very huge game for HAL Labs. HAL Labs has not really hit the mark when it comes to extreme sales with Kirby games. They've always floated around the 1 to 2 million mark in sales, with the original Kirby's Dream Land selling a whopping 5.13 million, and HAL Labs hasn't seen numbers that high since. I mean, even with Kirby Star Allies hitting 4.38 million, they still never matched 1992's title, that is until 2022, with the most recent installment of Kirby in the Forgotten Land finally surpassing their original game sales at 7.52 million. So it's very evident that this is how Labs is best-selling game by a long shot. Kirby in the Forgotten Land is up there amongst some of the greats for the Nintendo Switch, which is so exciting to see. They're sitting pretty comfortably at the 25 spot on the most selling Switch titles, and that is pretty good for Kirby, and I'm gonna explain why it's so good and actually why I cannot wait for the next Kirby title. I'll also explaining what I fully expect from the next Kirby game as well. But first I want to thank today's sponsor, Ding Dong Dang. Ding Dong Dang is a free-to-play MMO for both casual and competitive fans, and you can either play it with friends or even play it solo. You'll be doing all sorts of activities on Shin Chan's Island, where you can play around with friends like fishing, playing football, and tons of different mini-games. You can group together as four players and play through a various amount of mini games, including competition, survival, level breaking, treasure hunting, racing, sports, puzzles, shooting games, you name it. But it's not just about the mini games. You guys can actually walk around and just explore Shin Chan's island and find cool treasure and hidden secrets and surprises, which is pretty cool. So it's a little bit of a Fall Guys, Mario Party, and Animal Crossing combined into one fun experience with you and your friends. And of course, you can spin to unlock new heroes, emerge pieces and level up, and even build strong teams to take out powerful enemies. And of course, there's rewards and achievements for your actions, where you can actually view rankings and leaderboards, and you can even get galleries by beating other players and completing tasks. All of these fun games can be played all together in one free-to-play package right now on Android and iOS app stores and on PC with Steam. So click on the link in the description down below to download Ding Dong Dang for yourself and get your friends to jump in too. And I want to give a big thanks to Ding Dong Dang for sponsoring today's video. How Labs took a risk and did something completely different that they're used to. Instead of going with another traditional 2D Kirby game, they decided to flip everything on its head and actually put Kirby in a 3D space. Now we've seen them kind of preparing for this for a very long time and kind of slowly incorporating Kirby into 3D spaces with some fun free to play 3DS titles like 3D Rumble. Seeing them actually make a full 3D Kirby game was so exciting to me, and also considering the fact that how far they went with it. Instead of just slapping us in Dream World, which was kind of what I was expecting, they gave us a new world with new enemies and even new copy abilities and tons of other things as well, like copy abilities being able to be evolved and tons of crazy bosses and a unique story that was kind of insane at the very end that even tied into some deeper lore. I mean, they went insane with this new 3D Kirby game and pretty much continued all the originality that they're known for with their Kirby games. And with Forgotten Land selling as good as it did, I mean, it's in my brain as a no-brainer that this is going to be at least within the first couple of years of the brand new Nintendo console. And in fact, if I'm predicting right now, I would really expect Kirby and the Forgotten Land to see a sequel of some sorts or maybe just the next 3D Kirby installment as early as 2026. Now I think a big question is, does HAL Labs keep a 2D Kirby in the lineup? I mean, they already know that a 3D Kirby is going to sell like hotcakes, but a 2D Kirby could very well just sell averagely, like it has been doing. Even though Star Allies did sell pretty well for the company, it still was nowhere near the success that they seen with their 3D Kirby debut. So in my opinion, it's kind of hard. If you only have one core development team, this might make things a lot harder. They're going to need at least two teams similar to Mario's. So that way when they're working on a 2D game, they're also simultaneously working on a 3D game because I feel like having to wait four or five years for a 2D game and then another four or five years for a 3D game might be a little too long. So hopefully that there's something that they're working out to figure that out, but I personally think that HAL Labs has definitely got their mind set on the future of Kirby being 3D at the moment. So giving them another four to five years after Forgotten Land will take us into 2026 and latest 2027. And honestly, I 
I think Kirby might even fill the role for Mario. You might be like, what are you talking about? Let me explain. So Mario for the longest of times have always been a linear 3D platformer or some type of open sandbox style Mario game along the lines of Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, or Mario Odyssey. It's always been one of those two and I feel like Kirby can now switch into that position because based on rumors that we're hearing, the next 3D Mario game is going to try something completely new, being open world, along the lines of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. If that's the case, then maybe Kirby can be that more traditional 3D platformer that we are always expecting of Mario. Instead, it's Kirby now, where we get either a linear 3D Kirby experience like we just gotten, or maybe something a lot bigger, which I think we might get next. But let me be completely honest with you. I'm not saying that I am expecting something a lot bigger. I mean, honestly, for them to do this for their first 3D Kirby game with Forgotten Land, I would just love a sequel, honestly. Just something exactly the same, but just a little bit different. I, I really would not mind it, you know, because it's such a great game already. It's not like they need to do a whole lot more. But I almost just imagine now seeing a Kirby game along the lines of 64, Sunshine, and Odyssey, giving us small little open sandbox levels to explore. Forgotten Land has so many secrets. There's so many little Easter eggs and nods to certain things and collectibles and secret things that we've found throughout years of playing this game so far. It's just there's so much love poured into this game. I would love to see what they could do with bigger spaces and bigger areas, which I think would work perfect for Kirby. No, I'm not talking about an open world Kirby, but I'm talking more of a open sandbox style of Kirby game, allowing us to control the camera and everything would be pretty amazing. And honestly, I don't think it's as unlikely as what people might start thinking, because as ambitious as they went with Kirby in the Forgotten Land, it really wouldn't all that much surprise me if they did decide to do something like this. Let me also be clear when I say I do not want 2D Kirby to go away. I I do not want that to be a thing of the past where we get nothing but 3D Kirby games because I've loved every single and played every single past Kirby game. In fact, one of the only games in the entire series that I can say I did not really have fun with was Kirby Star Allies. Just in my opinion, it felt like a step back from what they've been doing with Kirby Triple Deluxe and Planet Robobot and the other current 2D Kirby games. I don't know, it felt too safe, too bland, too easy, and too boring to me. And it just didn't do anything super special. It was just kind of a letdown to me, but it wasn't a bad game by any means. It just was pretty lackluster in comparison to others. But if they still go with 2D Kirby games, I think they need to just get creative again, like Triple Deluxe's Super Hypernova Suction Kirby, and also Planet Robobot's, you know, Super Kirby armor that they added to the game. Whether they make sequels of those games or simply just new 2D Kirby titles in general, I think there's still a lot of stuff to be done, a lot of copy abilities that they could come up with, and just still a lot of gameplay opportunities. So I really hope the best opportunity in my head is that HAL Labs has two core development teams. One that's really focused on the 2D games and one that's really focused on the 3D games. So that way we could probably get a new Kirby game every two to three years based on 2D or 3D. And I think that would be a perfect formula for the future of HAL Labs and Nintendo with the pink fluff ball. But whatever happens, it's definitely safe to say that Kirby has been in the best position ever for the Nintendo Switch. And as we're on the precipice of a brand new console, I can't wait to see what type of titles Kirby has for the next console as well. Because Kirby had taken over the Switch. Not just those two mainline games, they've had multiple little spin-offs as well, so it's super exciting to see Kirby's presence on the platform, and I can't wait to see what else he can do on new hardware. But definitely let me know in the comments down below, when do you expect to see the next Kirby? Are you thinking along the lines of me with 2026 or maybe even 2027? Also let me know what you would like to see from the next Kirby game. Are you all Team 2D or all 3D, and if it is in 3D, what style of 3D Kirby would you want to see next? Thank you for tuning in, and make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. Let's see how many Kirby fans we can pull together to leave a like and subscribe to this video. But thank you so much for tuning in, and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.